Okay, I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way to caption your videos. We're going to use a combination of Move Captioner and Max Speech Dictate. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load my movie and save my Move Captioner project and we're ready to go. Uh, we're not going to use the play button here, we're going to use the start button down here. And what's going to happen is Move Captioner is going to start looping the video in four second increments, which I can control here. But normally I would type what I hear, but since I'm using Mac Speech Dictate, I'm going to just repeat what I hear because I'm wearing a, uh, headphones with a microphone. And I'm listening to the video through the headphones and I'm talking to Mac Speech through the microphone. So let's give it a whirl, see how it goes here. I'm going to hit the start button. Just before lunch one day, a puppet here. show. Just and before now lunch I'm going to activate day, Mac Speech. Show. This is the little interface that gives you. Just before lunch one day, and all a I have puppet to do show. is hit this button. Just before lunch one and it's day, gonna start a puppet show. Typing whatever I say. Just a puppet show. Just before lunch Just before one day, lunch one a puppet day, show. A puppet show. Just before lunch one day, a puppet was put on at school. Period. It was called Mr. Bungle goes to was put on at school. It was called. It was called Mr. Bungle, Mr. Bungle goes, to goes, goes was put on at school. It was called Mr. Bungle goes to was to put lunch. on at lunch. Period. It, it was, was fun, fun to, to watch. watch. Lunch. Period. It was fun to watch. In the puppet in the show, puppet show Mr. Mr. In the puppet show, Mr. Bungle, Bungle came, came to, to the boys' room, room on, his on his way, way to lunch. lunch. Period. He looked at his hand. Bungle came to the boys' room on his he way to lunch. He looked at his hands. He period. looked at his hand. Bungle came to the boys' room on his way to lunch. He looked at his hand. Bungle came. His hands, his hands were, were dirty. dirty. And his hands. Period. His hands were dirty. Okay, let's just stop messy. there. So you get the idea. And let's turn this off because it's typing everything I say now, which I don't want it to. So you get the idea. All you have to do is say what you hear through the headphones, and it types it. You don't have to do any typing unless you want to do some edits, which you, you normally have to do. It's not going to get every word for you, but it's, it's going to come pretty darn close. Max Speech Dictate works very well. There's a very, very little amount of training you have to do to have it get a basic understanding of your voice. So you just kind of follow along with it when you install it and pretty soon you're ready to go. So in Move Captioner here, if I wanted to make an edit, Mr. Bungle here, he needs a capital B. And down here, so I can make my edits right in the caption list here. Let's bring him up a line here. So you get the idea, you can do your edits here. Once you work your way through the whole movie, which goes very fast using this method, much faster than typing anyway, uh, you can do a preview where you can see your video. Just you can see how your captions day, came out. A puppet show was put on at you school. can see on this one, it I might want to break that type up on two different lines a little better. So we'll go back here. What we could do is I, I can I can put a pipe symbol right before Mr. Bungle here, and you can see that forces a carriage return. Now this won't be in the final, so let's give that a look. Just before lunch one day, a puppet show was put on at see, school. It, it broke the line there, and you don't see the pipe symbol, so that's one way of uh, controlling it. So once you get all the type the way you want it, you have your choice of a multitude of formats you can export to. You could do uh, embedded QuickTime, 
JW Player, Flash, uh, Sonic Centerist, which is used for broadcasting and on iPods. Uh, there's SRT and SUB, which can be used for YouTube. Sammy, if you're using Windows Media Movies and the Flip for Mac plugin. You can also make a couple of different versions of transcripts, one with and one without time code, and also an HTML version of the same thing. So, and another thing you could do is make a translucent background of the text, which really looks pretty good, I think. Just use the embedded QuickTime and check the translucent background. And you you can see that the, the text is over the movie, but the background is translucent. So that's kind of a cool way. It keeps the aspect ratio the same as it was. And so it doesn't add it below the movie. It adds it right over top of it. So, so that's the uh, easy way to caption videos. Uh, download a copy of Move Captioner. Give it a try. It's it's not crippleware. You can do everything for 14 days. And if you like it, buy it. Uh, also, I recommend going to MacSpeech.com and trying out Mac Speech Dictate. Uh, thanks for stopping by.